Hey everybody, it's Heather Kay. I'm your baby vegan. My apologies for the light. I don't know um, how I can make videos any better, but you're not really here to look at me. You're here to look at what I gotta say about going vegan. So, uh, I went to the, to the store to buy uh, almond flour, but I found that uh, a lot of the specialty flours are uh, very expensive, so I, I decided to take a chance on spelt flour. Um, I will be trying uh, various recipes with various flour, and this one made the most sense to me and had the most reasonable price. Um, and like I said, I, I, I posted a note on my Facebook page, and I asked people, why would I have an intolerance to gluten when I enjoyed bread my entire life? And they were saying, well, a lot of the gluten allergies don't come from the bread itself. They've been making bread for 5,000 years. And so that um, the, the, the problem is, is the chemicals they put into uh, the wheat that they grind down that's in embedded into the plant. So that's kind of what's making us sick. So anyway, so I got this big bowl just because I'm trying to uh, not make something. I got to put a bowl in hot water. I'm going to put it in a glass bowl. So what I've done is I'm, I've taken this spelt flour and put it in a mason jar. And they have some ingredients for savory spelt muffins on the back. I'm not sure if I'm into muffins, but I might cut that up and put that in my recipe book. So I'm just showing you that. I have a cup of it put aside. I don't know how much this recipe is going to have, but remember the other day I was showing you, I had this big um, sweet potato. So what I've done is I've taken a quarter cup of oil, or you can go so far as to put um, a spoon. You can have about, I'm trying to think, the cooking oil I use, by the way, is Crisco, Crisco vegetable oil. So just put the cover on that, because trust me, I do not need this all over my counter like the... The other day when I was cooking. So I got the burner on the back here going. So so um, when you make roti, there's only three ingredients. Um, in this particular case, I am putting four ingredients into it because what I'm scooping in here is my giant sweet potato. So I saw this on YouTube and I don't remember how the, the ingredient went, but um, it was a sweet potato roti. So all I've done is take a sweet potato that I boiled this morning and I mashed it down. It's my knife. And I, I uh, left the peelings on and I peeled it with a knife. It's that simple. Just kind of moving that out of the way. So I don't know how much flour I need. That's why I'm, I'm measuring it from later on. I can always do the backwards measurement. And so far, that's about only a third of the flour. So I'm just going to give it a quick mix mix here. Wow, that really absorbed it. I'm supposed to be putting some boiling hot water in there to get the gluten activated, but I might not need it, or will I? Okay, so, so far, it's still taking a cup. And I do believe I do need to put um, in... Sorry, I don't, I don't have one of these funky camera rooms where there is a bunch of cameras on me and on the, the top. One of these days, over get my own channel, you'll have better videos. If anybody ever wants to sponsor me, being a baby vegan. Okay, so that is really interesting. That does not look like anything. <laughs> and yet I want to make videos. So... I am going to be adding, I don't think this needs any, any boiling water like my other roti was. So I'm just going to add the rest of that. So that is one um, whole cup of flour. And what roti is, it's, it's a bread that I, my friend made. Her husband was Hindu. And, uh, but roti is made all over the world, I imagine. I see a lot of recipes on roti. And all I'm doing is baby vegan is I wanted a wrap, but I didn't want a wrap made um, the, the way with flour and gluten. Mm. And uh, I might have spilt muffins. <laughs> I can't see this rolling up. I think I need, 
I don't know if she was salmon flour. I really should have went back to that video before I wrecked this whole sweet potato. I could have had sweet potato for supper. I am going to put a little bit of water in it. Just because that top water. I just wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. Okay, now yeah. it has the consistency of baby food. I didn't need that water at all. Okay. So in the spirit of knowing how much flour I put in here, I spelt flour with sweet potato. Well, that's not quite a cup. That's not a cup. Come on. Oops. I'm just sprinkling it on there. Hopefully I'll get it to a consistency where I can roll it up and then have myself a, a wrap is what I'm trying to make. That's what roti is. It's a wrap. Well, well, we seem to be getting somewhere. Okay, so that's like one and a half cups of flour. I think I'm almost to the point where, this is so soft. See that? This just seems soft enough. It just seems to be absorbing the flour. And the more I stir it, the, uh, the more that flour goes right into it. So, I know I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> it's like, that's one and a half. I'm gonna put flour on my surface here. This is my rolling pin. I'm sprinkling flour on that. So what I'm gonna do is usually you take this and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top because it looks like it needs more flour. I'm gonna roll gently roll that into a ball. Now I have way too much flour here, so I'm just gonna move it aside. Let's see if I can move the camera down this way. To my work surface. Okay, give that a try. Look, ooh. Get back on there. I'm gonna put more flour on. <laughs> it's just, oh no. Well, that is not working out. I'm gonna try it again. It's a lot of flour on that. Okay, well, I don't know how the person did it in the video. Let's give it a try. Okay. Let's give this a try and cook it in my frying pan. I don't know if this is gonna work out. I'm trying so hard to try some recipes. Hoping I have some supper. <laughs> so Another little sticky mess. So, I rolled it here in a little ball and put some more flour down. I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit more this time. Okay, there's plenty of flour on that. Okay, let's give her a try. Now I'm gonna be using this. Okay, well that seems like it's plenty thin enough. Yeah, I'm gonna go for, I know I'm so brave. I'm gonna go for one more roll. Well, two. I'm just gonna keep that on standby. Hmm. Wow, well that's interesting in my hands. So, Check on this. Wow. I think I think for I think for the recipe that I am making, the recipe I saw, you can't add um, what do you call that? Sweet potato in flour unless it is gluten like a regular 
all-purpose white flour. But I could have sworn that they had a specialty flour. So I'm going to go take a look at my wrap. It's not puffing up like um, any roti. <laughs> oh, my video. It's not puffing up. <laughs> I don't even know if I can eat it. <laughs> Gotta play. Let's check it out. Here it is. Here, just in a second. I'm gonna put this one on, just in case there's by any slim chance that I'm able to make it. Okay. I always make a mess in the kitchen. So here's the the roti I made. I probably should put it on a different color dish. It's made out of sweet potato. It's very warm. So the whole intention is for me to make a wrap of something. I don't know, hummus or... Okay. It's actually good. What does it remind me of? It reminds me of an oat cake. You ever have oat cakes from... If you ever had that, take on. Well, I just created this ooey gooey recipe of a giant sweet potato right in front of your eyes. I use like as much spelt flour as needed as you've seen it. I used vegetable oil. I did put a little bit of water in because the hot water activates the gluten, which I think it does. And I managed to make this wrap, which I got a piece out of because it's pliable. And by the way, what, how I'm going to store it is I got this pizza dish from Tupperware and I'm going to take not this cloth but an old t-shirt and wrap it up in the bottom of it just so it doesn't stick because that's how I saw it on the, on the channel which I can't even give a link to because I don't remember where it was. I was just watching it one day. Wow. I'm so proud of myself and my little creative kitchens. I don't even know if I recommend this video because it's um, like when I taste that. It's a wrap. And that's a wrap. It tastes like oat and sweet potato. It, I feel like there's something missing in it, like some kind of spice or something like that. But the spice will be in the food if the salsa or whatever you want to put on there. Um, I might make it into a dip. I'm trying to think, what could I serve with this? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe peanut butter and banana? That's it. I'm going to have peanut butter and banana. See you tomorrow or next time I make a video. It's Heather K. I'm your new baby vegan on the net. And I don't know anything what I'm doing. That's why I'm a baby vegan because I'm learning. What's that? What's that? See you later. Let's see if I know how to shut this off. Bye.